CX Engage offers great flexibility in how we can route an interaction to the most qualified agent. We do this by leveraging two agent attributes, such as skills and groups. In this section, we're going to learn how to create a new group, a new skill, and then assign these two attributes to their user profile. First, let's get started with the group. I'm going to do that by jumping over to the admin portal. And then for the group section, I'm going to go click on user management in my upper toolbar. And then I'm going to drop down to groups. Now a group lets you combine sets of users who have similar skills or who focus on a particular area or set of clients. For example, a group may contain users who specialize in technical support or belong to the same operational team. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to get started by clicking on create. And then my panel opens up on the right hand side here and this is where I add the name of my group. This does have to be a unique name. On the left hand side, you can see all your existing groups. If you're following along from the documentation site, we're going to call this group support. I already have a support team or a support group in my list. I'm actually going to call this support A. Just remember the name of the group that you create as we'll be using this in another tutorial. Now the next step is just to click submit. Very good. I've got my confirmation that the record has been created. Now I'm going to repeat these same steps and create another group called sales. So create sales. Most likely I already have a sales group in my list, so I'm just going to call this sales A for my A sales team. Submit. And now I've got that record updated confirmation. Now what we're going to do next is jump over to skills. I do that by clicking on user management and then dropping down to skills. A skill is an ability or some qualification that your agent may have. For example, speaking a foreign language or license to sell insurance. These are a couple of examples. To create a new skill, I'm simply going to click Create in the upper right hand corner. And again, to find a unique name. For this particular one, let's just create the name of a foreign language. Let's go Spanish. And again, I most likely have a Spanish group, so I'm just going to call this Spanish A, just so I don't have a conflict in my list on the left. You can optionally enable this proficiency setting. This will allow you to define your individual agents of how proficient they are within this particular skill. Let's go ahead and submit. Very good. That skill is now done. We're now going to jump over to the agent screen and apply these two attributes to my agent. To do so, I click on my user list, go down to users. I now am going to select some random user from this list. Let's go ahead and select this individual here. And on the right hand side are, is where I make my changes. Skills is the first attribute that we see in the list. To add this skill, I go ahead and click add skill and I can either scroll through my list to try to find it or I can simply type uh, up here in the top. I believe we called this one Spanish. There we go. Spanish A is that skill that I created. If I did add proficiency, we'll see that down here at the bottom. Now the next attribute that I'd like to add would be that group. So we created two groups. One of those, support A. I simply click my plus sign there. And the other one, sales A. Excellent. I have my two teams added here. To remove any of these attributes, it's actually pretty easy. I simply just click the X and that removes that particular entity and updates the record at the same time. And same thing with skills. If I want to remove one of these skills, I simply just X that out and it will save my record automatically. That's it. We're done with this exercise. We've created some groups, a couple of skills, and modified our agent with these attributes. When you're ready, go ahead and jump to the next section and we'll continue to build out our call flow.